Welcome to Headway 101. My name is Corey Freeman, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the new Headway Schematic Headway 3.0 Child Theme Framework. Schematic is basically my answer to making child themes even easier for beginners and advanced users alike. I'm just showing you the page here on Headway 101 where you can purchase Schematic for $19.99 or if you have at least 100 Twitter followers or Facebook friends, it'll only be $10. Um, so basically, Schematic is the CSS map for Headway 3.0 that a lot of people have asked me about, and it's also got example hooks that you can use to enable new features, um, like the codes that you find in the code snippet section of Headway 101. So I'm just showing you the sales page here, but that's headway101.com slash child theme slash headway schematic or you can just click the child themes button on the website and go ahead and click the schematic framework to see that. We're gonna use it on a new site I'm developing for a short story I'm writing and I'm gonna show you how to install it and get started. Okay so schematic installs like any other theme so go to appearance themes Click Install Themes. Click Upload. And then go ahead and grab your schematic install. Um, I believe mine is stuck in the Headway 101 folder with about a hundred other files. Here we go. And click Install Now. Then click Activate. All right, you'll be taken back to the theme page and you can see that schematic is activated. Now, if I reload, you'll see that schematic does not make any changes to your current design. Um, obviously, I haven't started designing this particular website yet, but you can see nothing changes. It does, however, come with a custom function enabled already for an example, so it will add the author box to the end of your posts. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to work with that. So if we go to the theme editor, we're greeted with the schematic style sheet. And here's where schematic really shines. I'm actually going to go ahead and open this up in an FTP. It's kind of hard to see here. But basically, schematic gives you a complete overview of the CSS available for Headway. Let me go ahead and... Login. Oh, it's going to be a jerk to me. That's fine. I know my own passwords. Alright. Okay, so if I go full screen and make this a bit bigger. Alright, so it's kind of easier to see the structure I was using. Um, but basically, we have the first part is a mass font change. So, say font family Arial and hit save. Um, and this is the same file as the one I've opened up in the WordPress editor. If we reload, you'll see that the entire website sort of switches to the Arial font because of that mass font change. Um, you didn't have to write any of that code yourself. You can see, obviously, there are a lot of separate elements you'd have to style to even change all the fonts at once, but thanks to Schematic, you can just type in what you want. Moving further down, we've got Structure, where you can set a background for your body and for the white wrap, and mess with the wrapper. So, for instance, if you didn't want a box shadow on the wrapper, you could write box shadow, none. That's the shadow that appears around the box, and if we reload, it's gone you already have the correct selectors to do what you want. Um, let's do navigation. I want to make my navigation links blue. And there you go, the navigation links are blue now. It's just super easy. Then you can make the hover red. And when I hover over them, they'll be red. So it's now super easy to customize your entire website through CSS 
and without having to go and use even Firebug to look it up, it's all here. If it's customizable for Headway, uh, it's in this style.css file, ready to go. And if you can't find it, then shoot me an email and I'll update it. Let's look at the custom functions part. So I'm going to open up the functions.php. Make it a bit bigger. And I'll even show you in WordPress backend under Appearance Editor, you can also edit it using the WordPress backend. I like to use a text editor because it's colorful and I like bright colors. Um, but don't worry if you're not really tech savvy, you can edit it directly from WordPress and it'll work just the same. So if I reload the style sheet from before, you can see here's where I said font family Arial. And if we scroll down, here's where I set those colors. All right, back to the functions. Doo -doo -doo. I've added uh, pretty much every code snippet tutorial I have on Headway 101 into version 1.0 of Schematic. So what we're looking at here are just a bunch of functions I've added. And then if you scroll down, you can enable them or disable them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to disable the author bio. I'm going to add two forward slashes. And if I hit save and go back to that post, you can see the author bio is gone. On the other side, if I remove these two comment lines, the author bio comes back. All I have to do to edit the section is go to my profile and say down here it says biographical info. This is something about Corey. Ah. And hit update. See, so it's pulling all this stuff automatically. And so now you have, instead of having to figure out the tutorial on Headway 101 even, you can just do it. It just happens. Um, let's look at another one that might be here. We've got the change next and previous post buttons. So you can see down here where it says hello world. If that were a really long title, it would like overlap and break. But if I enable the change, if I go down here and where it says change previous and next, I delete these two comment lines and hit save and reload, it'll say previous posts and on the previous post it'll say next post. So there's, I've gone, I've done a lot to make sure that everything clearly says what it's gonna do and that it's super easy for you to kinda make the changes to headway that you wanna make. Um, and if you want to add your own function, of course, that's totally fine. That will work. So I'm trying to think of one we could add. Like a block title is one of the main ones. Um, I don't actually think I have block number two on here. So let's, let's go back to the home page. And I'll show you block titles real quick. So this is block number three. I found that using Firebug. Um, you can also go into the visual editor. So if I wrote function headway block title three, and then I'm going to, oops, kind of stop and start the PHP code again so we can use regular HTML. Very h2 um, home page welcome text and hit save. And then I scroll down here. So you've got the model based on this example function. But if I scroll down here, you'll see where it says add title to block two. Well, I can just copy this code. Do headway block open three. Because that's my block ID. And then headway block title three. Because that's the function. And so even if you're not really good with PHP, you can follow these exactly. And now if we reload. Let me get rid of that giant window. You'll see my homepage welcome text is here. And in fact, if you do inspect element, um, it, it is an H2 tag. You just have to style that with CSS. 
So there you go. Uh, Schematic makes it super easy for you to really supercharge your Headway powered website. Check it out again at headway101.com under child themes, schematic. And don't forget, you can get 50% off by tweeting and or Facebooking about it at checkout. I'm Corey Freeman. Thanks for watching.